Hello, I'm Kevin from Crypto and my in today's episode, let me talk about what happened to crypto space right now and talk a little bit about something that we should take note this week on Shiba Inu. Let's stay tuned. As you can see, um, Bitcoin has been plunging quite a lot lately and I could say that it's a good thing and a bad thing. If you look at the good side, uh, if you look at the weekly chart, it still falls above the support zone. It haven't break through yet, which is a good thing. The second thing is, if you look at the daily chart, the nearest support is around the 40,000. So uh, 40,000 is a psychology level whereby uh, hopefully it might have a big rebound back towards upwards. If it does, most of the altcoin will recover and back up because as we know that most of the uh, altcoin will follow Bitcoin movement. If uh, Bitcoin goes down or mostly all the altcoins will follow to go down. But if uh, Bitcoin goes up, uh, most of the time or the uh, altcoin will go up. So uh, if you ask me whether is the uh, crypto space is going to a uh, bearish market, I would say haven't yet. Why? Because if you look at the Ethereum rainbow chart, we talk about altcoin which is the Ethereum first, whereby if you look at the year of 2018, it reaches the, the highest level of the rainbow chart and this is where it crashes all the way down after that. So right now, I still think that this whole crypto space is still yet in the middle. It's still not yet over yet. The bearish market is not yet started and the bullish market is still in place. So if you, see, you can see here, there is a very big huge gap here for the uh, cryptos and the altcoins to grow. And if you can see here, when Ethereum reached 10,000 US dollar, then I could say that the, the uh, bearish market or we call it the bubble will start to pop but right now it's still in the middle so I could say that this is not a bearish market yet so what happens to a Bitcoin it's actually um, quite funny to see that uh, if you have read the news yesterday I think Elon Musk has tweeted a lot about Bitcoin recently saying that the Bitcoin uses a lot of uh, electric cities and it's not good for the environment something like that and it causes the uh, Bitcoin to plunge further down not just that uh, yesterday night Elon Musk has started war in a tweeting by I don't know saying some weird stuff like something like that uh, just giving a smiley face I believe that he's, he's trying to show that he's against the Bitcoin but I, I believe that this kind of move is actually trying to sell it at the high price then he create a FOMO and then he try to make everybody the market panics then when the market panics market starts selling and I believe that he won't keep gonna buy it at that low price uh, this kind of strategy has been a while I think since the uh, Dodge era I mean when Dodge started to be hyped get hyped because of him he started to use a similar strategies whereby he start tweeting, tweeting, tweeting good stuff about Dodge. Then Dodge coin went up after a certain place. Then uh, he start selling. Then after that, maybe he buy back at the low price. So it's quite similar strategy about what he does on the Bitcoin. So nothing special about this, but it's quite funny to see all this kind of uh, tweeting here and there. But if we look at it today, uh, if we look at Elon Musk's Twitter today, he actually deleted most of the tweets that he has done yesterday. So uh, I'm not sure what happened, maybe it's a prank, I'm not sure, but it's quite funny to see how Elon Musk react to the community of the Bitcoin. I believe that there's a reason uh, why Bitcoin plunged, but then uh, I think it will also recover because first of all, I think Elon Musk just uh, doesn't take it seriously maybe, I'm not so sure why does he does that because uh, if he tweets back about Bitcoin, I believe that Bitcoin communities will start to backlash him, probably dump Dogecoin even harder. So it's not a win-win situation, but much more like a lose-lose situation. Nothing, nothing good about it. So let's talk about a little bit of odd 
point today. Today I'll be focusing more towards the Shiba Inu. As you can see, the previous video I have stated that Shiba Inu will launch the uh, Shiba Swap last week, but uh, I believe that uh, if I'm not mistaken, they are launching it this week on the Monday, which is today. So let's look at the Shiba Inu coin. As you can see here, Shiba Inu has four just right above, just close right above the support line. So if you ask me, uh, is it a good thing? Yes, it can be a good thing, it can be a bad thing. But okay, let us look at the H4 chart. Uh, when you can see there is a strong rebound towards upwards and right now it's falling still falls inside the descending triangle so what we can hope for is uh, as long as the uh, four hour chart it doesn't close below the descending triangle it should be all right uh, as we can see here this is considered a busted descending triangle whereby it broke below and then it recover back up so i believe that uh, this support zone here is quite strong i don't know how long it could last because if bitcoins continue to fall then so does the altcoin but one thing good about shiba inu is the there are two news today uh, freaking good news first good news of course the shiba swap will be announced soon which is i believe is today and the uh, second thing is the uh, twitter from vitalik okay so vitalik has burned most of his shibas as you can see here the news uh this is what he's written so i've decided to burn 90 percent of the remaining shibas when shibas inu created the coins shiba inu developers transferred 50 percent of the uh, total supply to vitalik which is a vp wallet and what vp does is he actually took 10% of the uh, Shibas and he sent it to the charity to India for the COVID relief which is a good thing but it still actually concerns a lot of people why? because whether or not uh, Vitalik will do the same thing in future so there's a lot of concerns, there's a lot of FOMO there's a lot of uh, panics around the market uh, uh, due to this reason and one thing good is today is uh, Vitalik started to decided to burn 90% of the remaining Shiba token in his wallet meaning that let's say he has 50% he transferred 10% and the remaining 40% he is going to burn it away and he actually burned it away because as you can see here if you look at the ether scan uh, this is the proof that he actually burned the remaining 40% away which is from VP which is a Vitalik wallet he has burned likely almost six over billion worth of Shiba Inu coins. So it's, it's a good job, and that's the reason why Shiba Inu suddenly spikes up back towards 0 0.0018. Uh, it's a good thing. So right now, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna hope that uh, Bitcoin gonna start to recover. And if let's say Bitcoin start to recover, and if it's, if you could see shiba inu still close above this support line which is i believe that you're gonna float around here and if it broke above likely it's gonna go around this area okay likely it's gonna go around this area which is a huge huge recovery so does the other other altcoins and I believe Cardano, if you watch my Cardano previous video, I said that, that Cardano might also reach $2.40. And right now, I believe that Cardano did reach up to $2.40 uh, yesterday in the afternoon. And right now, because of the uh, Bitcoins falling, uh, like I said, most of the altcoins falling. Right? But right now, I believe that ADA is still not bad. Uh, it's still around $2.12 uh, floating around this area and it's a good thing also so right now we're gonna hope that uh, no more foremost kicks in Elon Musk uh, stop doing all this unnecessary stuff that causes the uh, market to go up and down haywire for no reasons and I think that's all for today's episode so if you like my episode remember to click like, share and subscribe I will see you guys soon and bye bye